Hey everyone, my name is Carmen and welcome to a new slime review video. Today I'll be giving a 100% honest review on these Play-Doh slime kits that I purchased from Target. There's a cosmic one and a summer shell one. If you enjoy my slime reviews and ASMR, don't forget to give this video a like and subscribe and check out my other social media accounts. Let's start off with our first Play-Doh slime kit. This one I paid $16 for and it's called the Cosmic Mix and Squish. You get three slimes that are about four and a half ounces each and nine different add-ins. As the name suggests, this is a cosmic themed one. This particular box shows you which add-ins go into which slime. I'll be starting off with this one, which is the pink clear base that comes with the stars, the blue bingsu beads, and purple glitters. These slimes don't come with any names, so comment below what you would name this. This one I decided to name Galaxy Sparkle. The bingsu and glitters are pretty normal and standard in the slime industry, but these stars are very unique add-ins. They are kind of hard, but not as hard as plastic and have a soft feel to it and kind of remind me of silicone. These ones also come in a bright pink and gray and mixing in the slime was super satisfying. It is very crunchy and I love seeing all the colors throughout it. The pink clear base is actually very nice and a really great clear slime. It's super stretchy, it wasn't sticky at all, it makes really nice bubble pops. The add-ins give the slime so much color and it just makes the texture even better. The slime is nice and squishy, you can feel the texture from the beads, and it makes really nice crunchy ASMR. The bubble pops are nice as well. Overall, it's a great unscented crunchy slime. I love the colors, but there is some minor fallout. The little stars will fall out while I'm stretching. Touching it. Next, we have the orange base, and I decided to name this one Sunshine Gems. The clear base has a really bright orange color, and it's pretty much the same texture as the pink one. It's nice and holdable, squishy, very stretchy, and really great for bubble pops, and honestly, really recommend just playing with the base itself before you mix in your add-ins. Surprisingly, it's not sticky at all, but I do want to let you know that Play-Doh slimes are very inconsistent, and sometimes you might get a bad batch. I would say about 60% of the time, the slimes are good. Anyways, for this slime, I added in the orange bingsu beads, the gold glitter, and these little rocks or geode looking thingies. The overall look really reminds me of copper and gold, almost like mining, but it does look super sparkly and shiny, which is why I named it Sunshine Gems. Let me know if you have a better name for the slime. Texture-wise, it does feel very similar to the pink one. It is also super gorgeous. I love seeing the variety of colors throughout it. Overall, it's another great unscented crunchy slime that is really great for ASMR and bubble pops. This one also has a bit of fallout but not as much since those little geodes aren't as big as the stars.
Next, we have the last slime in the cosmic kit, and I decided to name this one Alien Goo. This one comes with a glossy base that feels slightly similar to the other two, except that it's stickier and less holdable. It could be just less activated. It's still really clicky and great for bubble pops. For this one, I added the green bingsu beads, the green glitter, and these super unique cute add-ins that look like crabby aliens and UFOs. There are bright neon orange, pink, and purple colors. Mixing this slime is just as satisfying as the others. It kind of looks like a bunch of aliens on a grass field. This one is also unscented, so there is no strong odor. Texture-wise, it does feel similar, except that it's stickier, so it has less structure. I did decide to activate the slime with some borax solution, which didn't work out, which is the same with every other Play-Doh slime, so I decided to add a bit of baking soda, and that helped a lot. Overall, another great textured crust slime for ASMR and bubble pops and overall this is a decent slime kit. I think for $16 you do get your money's worth. You get to mix it up. It's a fun activity and it's super satisfying. It would make a great gift for anyone who likes slime and space. Next, we have the other slime kit I'll be reviewing, and this one is called Summer and Shells Mixing. I paid a dollar more for this one, so it's $16.99. As the name suggests, it's more of a summer shell, beach themed kind of kit. This one comes with six different slimes in different sizes and five different add ins. The box does say seven add ins, but they're trying to count the other colors, so I'm just gonna say five. I'm going to start off with the mini 2 ounce one and the box doesn't say which add-ins to add into which slime so it's pretty much a free for all. This one is a hydrogel slime which I believe is their water slime. Texture wise it's a pretty nice water slime except that this one is slightly sticky. I have felt one before that wasn't sticky at all and it's great but this one just stuck to my fingers so it was a little annoying to play with. I decided to add the little shell sequins into this one since it would match it very well. They're both very glittery and slightly shimmery. Overall, it is fun to play with on the table to slosh around if you don't mind the stickiness. Eventually, I did add some baking soda and let it sit, but it didn't really do much. Honestly, this one might get a little messy to play with if it sticks too much to your hands. The name Ocean Water seemed very fitting to me, but let me know what you would name the slime. Next, we have the two other mini slimes. We have a bright pink and light blue one, which are called Crystal Crunch, which is their Bingsu bead slime. I added the Bingsu bead colors that match, and these cute little shell, crab, and starfish add-ins are just super adorable, and I believe there's also some turtles in it. I have tried a few of their Crystal Crunch slimes before, and they all feel very similar with varying stiffness. These two were slightly stiff, so it was a little difficult to squeeze and stretch. They definitely require extra strength, and they were a little tough and difficult to play with. Not very enjoyable since they're kind of tiring for my fingers and hands. Besides that, the overall slime is super cute. I did like mixing it. It reminds me of cotton candy. And the slime is really great for bubbles and crunchy ASMR. Like the other slimes, those tiny add-ins do fall out once in a while, so keep that in mind. I thought the name Seashell Crunch would really match this slime since it's super crunchy and has a lot of seashell add-ins in it.
Next up is the last mini slime and this one was very sticky as well. I'm not too sure if this texture is the same as the hydro gels but it feels very similar. It's jiggly and it has a shimmer to it. I decided to add some baking soda to see if it would help. It didn't really help so I did decide to mix it into another slime later. So I just thought I would name this slime Sticky. Next up, we have a larger size slime, and this is their foam texture, which is a microbe foam. This one has a dark purple to magenta color, and for this texture, it's kind of hard to find great ones. Most of the time, they're either too stiff or too sticky, but luckily, this one wasn't too bad, and it was only slightly sticky. I decided to name the slime Coral Crunch since the base kind of reminds me of the corals, and the atoms represent the sea life. This slime is unscented, but you can kind of smell the paint or whatever craft supplies that is used in this. Overall, it's an okay slime. It is crunchy, has some nice bubble pops, but it is a little sticky and doesn't have the structure that I would like. I prefer them to be stretchier, and this one is a little too rippy for me, so I just thought, why not add some of this pink slime? Maybe I can fix both slimes, and eventually I did. It became a sticky mess, so I did have to add some baking soda, but after I did, it made this amazing crunchy slime texture that is really great for bubble pops. Lastly, we have this teal colored cloud slime, which is technically not a cloud slime texture. It's more of a thick clay slime texture. I really love the teal color. This one I decided to add in all the add-ins. So we have the bingsu beads and the seashell and little ball add-ins, which I believe are supposed to be pearls. Since this one just has a variety of things and colors, I decided to name it Marine Mix really gives off aquatic vibes and the Vinci beads give it such a nice crunch. The texture of this clay slime was a little stiff, but it still wasn't too stiff. It was stretchy as well. Honestly, I do prefer the texture without any of the add-ins, but if you want something crunchy, then this isn't too bad. This slime also has a bit of fallout, which is pretty normal with all of these Play-Doh slimes. Since this slime was a little too stiff for me, I decided to add in this hydrogel slime and I hope it would make it better. At first, it made a really sticky mess, just like the pink version. It was too sticky, but after I added in some baking soda and activated it, it turned into this really nice creamy clay slime with some bingsu beads in it. So there's some nice crunch and bubble pops and it became really stretchy and inflatable. At the end, I decided to make a slime smoothie of the, all the slimes from the Summer and Shell kit. So now we have this slimy sea smoothie. I really love the colors. Overall, these slime kits are a decent purchase as long as you get a pretty good batch. Sometimes they're salvageable and it's really fun to mix in the add-ins and definitely a great gift for people who love the theme and slime. Anyways, that is all for this slime review video. I really hope you enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye!